example? I got a letter, like, like a Valentine card. Was it signed? No. But it threatened you with harm. Uh, we've got some rope to make you swing. Yeah. Who did you think it was from? Imelda. Your Honour, I must object. The witness is referring to a letter which no longer exists and which was not signed. He's being asked to guess who wrote it. Your Honour, Anthony is telling us about the things that frightened him, and this is merely another one, and I submit that he is entitled to refer to it. Besides, if he thought that the letter was genuinely from Imelda, it would colour his attitude to her and his fear of her. I think that must be right, Mr. Billington. Very well. Thank you, Your Honour. Signed or unsigned, how did it make you feel? Frightened. More or, or less than earlier? More. M much more. Anthony, let me take you back to March the 20th, the day Imelda died. Now, that was the day that she and her friend returned to school after their suspension, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, can you tell us about that day? Uh, did you see her during school hours, for example? Yeah. Did you see her alone, or, or was there someone else there? She was with the teacher. And what happened? She asked if... She could apologise to me. Did she apologise? Yeah. What did she say? She said that... that she was sorry for everything that she's done to me. And that it wouldn't happen again. And I believed her. I thought that she really meant it. Did you see her again that day? After school. And did you approach her, or did she come to you? She come to me. And what did she say? She said that... ...whatever happens, even if she got suspended again... ...that she'd always be after me, for life. She said that... ...she was gonna make my life hell. Forever and ever. And that... She'd always be there. He's a liar. You know he is. What happened then? I ran away. What did Imelda do? She followed me. She wouldn't give up. I ran right down Manor Park Avenue, past the new estate, and she still wouldn't give up. How did you feel? I was terrified. And then you reached the pond. I couldn't go no further. I was puffed out. And what happened then? She told me to take my pants off. Did she say why? No. How did you feel? Did you do what she said? I wouldn't. I couldn't stand it anymore. She hit me across the face. And she had her hands around my neck. She kept squeezing. And squeezing. I just wanted her to stop hitting me. So I pushed it away. To try and get it off. But you didn't hit her over the head? No. You've heard the scientist give evidence stating that there was damage to the back of the skull. Do you know anything about that? No, I don't know. Could she have hit her head on something, a rock, for example? I don't know. What happened next when you fell in the water? Well, she just stopped. She didn't get up? No. And what happened next? I ran away. Why didn't you help her out? And I panicked. I thought she was going to get out of the water and kill me. So, I ran away. Did you think she was dead? No. Did you think she was alive? Don't know. But later, the next day, you came back to look for her. Now, why? See if she was still there. You were worried about her? Yeah. Did you see her? Well, I wasn't going to look at the water. But on March the 29th, ten days later, you went back. Did you see her or her body then? Well, I heard noises, so I ran away. What did you think had happened to her? You knew she was reported missing. I thought that she'd gone up and ran away. Why did you think that? Because I heard it on the radio that she'd been seen in London. When did you decide she couldn't have run away? Before Christmas. Well, in November, to be exact. And what made you change your mind about that? Because everyone thought that my dad killed her. Why did they think that? 
Well, because my mother was bullying me, they locked him up. So I told my mum and dad what happened at the pond. Why did you tell them? I didn't want my dad going to prison. Anthony, did you kill Imelda? I don't know. I've just said. She just stopped. Did you hit her? Or did you push her head under the water in order to kill her? Did you want to kill her? No, I just wanted her to leave me alone. I couldn't stand her always being there and hit me. She was making my life hell. I just wanted her to stop. No further questions, Your Honour. Uh, Mr Philbin, given Anthony's current emotional state, I think this would be an ideal moment to adjourn for today. All rise. Look, I need to see him. You can see the state he's in. I'm sorry, Stephen. He's in the middle of his evidence. You can't talk to him until he's finished. Where's my name? She'll be here in a minute. Here they are. Ready to listen to more lies. My uncle told us about yesterday. At the end of the day, that kid was going to be all washed up, no matter what lies he's come out with. <sighs> shut up. Maybe me and our kid should have given you the kicking. Steady it, Dad. I said shut up. What are you going to do about it? Well, how about reporting you for intimidating witnesses? Yeah, that should get you sent down. Don't you dare! Stop it! Get over here! Plank. Come on! You all right? Yeah. All he's got to do is tell the truth. Then he'll have no worries. So, let's see. What did you try to get rid of this bullying girl telling your parents? Is that right? Yeah. And they'd complained to the school? Yeah. But all that happened was Imelda got a three-day suspension. Yeah. So, how did you feel when she came back so soon? Did you feel angry? No. Angry that she'd got away with a three-day suspension from school and an apology to you? Not angry that she'd humiliated you over all those months and she was getting away with it? No. She did some terrible things to you, by all accounts. Forcing you to walk home with no trousers, making you steal money and sweets for her. Surely you must have felt some anger. Bit, yeah. <laughs> Only a bit? I just felt all right. I just couldn't believe it was all over. So you were convinced it would be as bad as before the suspension? Yeah. Can you think of one single thing you could have done to stop her from bullying you again? Apart from kidding, huh? I don't know. Exactly. You had already hit her with an iron bar. Yeah, but... And it didn't work. All the more reason to go further. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? I don't know. Now, how did you end up at that pond? Why did you go in that direction? I just ran as fast as I could. She kept after me. Mrs. Plummer, the head teacher, was in school, wasn't she? Yeah. Even your own father was on the school premises, wasn't he? Yeah. So why didn't you run to any of them? Especially your own father. I didn't think, though. I just ran. You just ran? It's less than a quarter of a mile from the school to your own home. Yeah, that pond is almost a mile and a half from the school. In the opposite direction. But why didn't you go home? I panicked. I just wanted to get away from her. I suggest that the reason you chose to run to the pond was because you knew Imelda would follow you there. No. She was a bully, but she was clever. She'd just been suspended. If she'd followed you back into school or to your home, she might have ended up in more trouble. You knew the way she was thinking, so you headed for the pond. That lonely, isolated place, isn't that right? No. But surely you can see what I mean. Would she have followed you home? Would she have risked more trouble? I don't know. About that pond, had you ever been there before? Before the day Imelda died? No. Are you sure about that? Yeah. You never passed it, went out for a walk, say? Never went there with other boys? No. I can't understand why you went the opposite way from home. Anyway, you ran out along Manor Park Avenue, past a couple of housing estates, then out into Woodland. She just wouldn't give up. She kept on after me. It's a long way to run. Did you pass any other people as you ran the length of Manor Park Avenue? 
What people? Well, any people, any grown-ups. I can't remember. Think, Anthony, did you see any grown-ups? I think so. So why didn't you ask for help? It was because you wanted Imelda to follow you, wasn't it? Because you had your plan, didn't you? No. You deliberately lured her there, didn't you? It's an isolated spot, a lonely place. No one would see you there, but you did there. And you knew that, didn't you? Imelda died. You took an iron bar and attacked her near her home. Is that correct? Yeah. Why did you do that? Well... Everyone was telling me to stand up to her, but I knew I wasn't strong enough. So you took an iron bar? Who said you should stand up to her? They were all saying it. My dad, my brother, even my sister was telling me to stand up to her. Either that or live with her. And my eldest brother's come round and started a fight with my dad and our Steve. It was just getting worse. So you wanted to hurt her, kill her even, for what she'd done? No, I only hit her once, and then I ran away. I've always been told not to hit girls. I thought it made it worse. And the bullying didn't stop? No. So you were getting angrier and angrier with Imelda, but you didn't know how to stop her? Yeah. No, I mean... Oh, no, I didn't know how to stop her. Let's go back to the afternoon you arrived at the pond. Why did you stop there? I couldn't go no further. I was puffed out. And that was when Imelda attacked you, hit you, and tried to strangle you? Yeah. She was going to put me under the water. I know she was. So you attacked her? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I just pushed her away. Did you hit her on the head? No. Well, you hit her another time with an iron bar. I never hit her. You said you did. Yeah, I did that time, but not at the pond. You hit her with a bar nearly three months earlier. Why couldn't you have hit her again? At the pond. I never hit her. I must object, Your Honour. Mr Philbin is battering Anthony. Perhaps a lighter touch, Mr Philbin. I'm obliged, Your Honour. You are violent, aren't you? No. Really? No, I'm not. On April the 10th last year, you attacked a group of boys in the school toilets with a steel waste bin. Surely that was violent. They were bullying me. Oh, you were the victim of school bullies again. Yeah. You're a surprisingly popular victim for all these school bullies, aren't you? They were bullying me. They were flicking water at you. Is that bullying? It's attacking them with a steel waste bin. Your reply to a bit of larking about. They were bullying me. Now, let's go to a week later and a lesson in the science laboratory. As Mrs. Plummer has told us, you wrecked the laboratory in a fit of violent temper. For no reason. Or did you have a reason? Do you bully me? And you knew exactly how to deal with bullies by then, didn't you, Anthony? Is that what your family had told you to do? To fight back? To hurt them? Anyway. At the pond, you both fell in the water. And Imelda just stopped. Yeah. You ran away? Yeah. Did you think she was dead? I didn't know. Did you check to see if she was alive or dead? I was too scared. I knew she wanted to kill me, so I panicked. I just wanted to get out of there. But you came back the next day. I wanted to get me back. I needed my PE kit. Any evidence on your clothes have been destroyed in the wash. I put it to you, Anthony, that the reason you went back to retrieve that bag was to make certain that no evidence of your presence remained at the pond. No. I put it to you that you only came back later to hide the evidence of what you had done, to hide Imelda's body. No, I didn't. You went back to that pond three times in just over a month. Why? I don't know. I, I just did. Imelda's body wasn't found for some eight months. And only then, when you told your father what had happened, he went and found the body. If it hadn't been hidden, surely it would have been found. Now, I put it to you, Anthony, that on one or more of the times when you returned to the pond, you hid Imelda's body in the culvert alongside the pond. I didn't do it. To wade into that pond and drag her into the culvert would explain why nobody else saw that body for months on end, wouldn't it? I don't know. But the body wasn't found where you left it, was it? No. So someone must have moved it. I don't know. And surely nobody would do such a horrible thing unless they had a murder to conceal. Would they? 